I mean, uh, you are the CIO and also in charge of uh, cloud and security at uh, Airtel. Please share with us your views on, uh, on the topic of open source and how you manage that environment and uh, how you see value coming into your organization from, from this point of uh, the open source debate. Etel, um, largely we are, um, Etel is a highly technology driven organization and we are very, very, you know, very big on open source. Um, there's a very large part of the entire engineering organization that actually um, only works on open source uh, software, more or less. I think um, for us, it's two, three different things. I think the, uh, the one piece is I think um, Alan was mentioning that Facebook started differently. Same thing with telecoms. All the telecoms started with, you know, the um, BSS, OSS, and uh, large uh, carrier grade software bought from, um, you know, large OEMs, etc. But the entire space of innovation, if you see, if you are working, so two things. If you are buying software like that, there is no competitive edge because you're buying the same software that somebody else is buying. So you're going to actually have the same capability. You can build things around it. And there are times where what you want to do is just, you know, a billing software is just run of the mill. You pick up one, you build your own. It's not dramatically going to differentiate um, you from one organization to the other. But the majority of the things we do today and how we differentiate between such a competitive world and everything that we are building on digital, it is all, everybody doesn't have it, you're building capabilities for yourself. I think that's where the mindset itself has to be very, very different. Um, you can't rely, you know, I, I don't even believe I can rely on SIs or anybody as well. You will never get every company, whether it's an OEM, it's developing software, they're going to develop features which are for the masses. If you're an SI, you're going to um, your entire revenue model is based on humans. So you're going to want to put more and more humans in any development you want to do. And then do it in such a way that tomorrow the company has to come back and give you managed services. Um, so if you really want to be disruptive, you know, you want to have a complete CI CD pipeline and you want to ensure that you, your software goes into production with the flick of a button and least number of humans are involved and you don't have any operational um, human manpower doing operations, your systems are self-governing. If there are issues, um, today at Airtel, uh, we were just doing a review this morning, 52% of my infrastructure issues are self-healed. There is no human that's involved. I run a completely autonomous NOC. There is no human in my NOC. And we run one of the largest telco companies in the, on the planet. Um, it wasn't there a few years ago. It's very much possible today. Um, I think if I'd gone with an OEM, it would not have been possible. If I'd gone with an SI, it would not have been possible. Um, it's only possible with a lot of the open source technology because what you're doing there is you're leveraging something that the best brains have actually developed over a period of time. And then your best brains are contributing back into that as well. We have taken this entire concept of uh, open source very far. Even within Airtel, we have lots of businesses. We have a prepaid business, a postpaid business, um, a broadband business, DTH business. We run the largest music app. Um, Vink um, is one of our um, you know, very large digital plays. We run Airtel or Extreme, Extreme TV, which is one of the top three uh, TV apps in the country. We also run our own digital assets. Um, we do a lot of work for our customers and our enterprise customers. We do a lot of development for them. So all these different parts of engineering, we fully, we have a concept called inner source where it's 100% driven on open source model, but we inner source all our, um, all our code. So um, everything is based on microservices today. And if I've written a microservice, Somebody else is writing the same microservice, my productivity in the second team is zero. And they might be the best developers I have, but my productivity is zero because they're just replicating what I already have in another part of the shop. Um, and in this concept, we reward people if you contribute into somebody else's code. We reward you if others are contributing into your code because that means you've written something so fantastic that everybody wants to use it. So it's both ways it goes and it has increased our velocity of development massively. 
um, and we are anyway, you know, hardcore technologists, we are slightly allergic to, to humans, so open source technology plays really well in our shop um, because it keeps uh, the human layer to the minimum.